To believe in the resurrection is to participate in the insurrection. If you're not living a different type of life, if you're not living love, if you're not living justice, if you're not living mercy, then you're not believing in the resurrection. You might say you do. You might say you believe in God. You might say you believe in Jesus Christ. But if you're not the place where resurrection takes place, if you're not the place where God is made manifest, then you don't believe in God. It's just an abstract thing that you say. You know, take the example of Facebook. Facebook is the idealized reflection of ourselves. It's the type of self that we want people to see. Uh, so we put our best photographs on the, on the pages, we put little funny comments, we put all the films that we want people to know we've seen, and we don't mention any of the films that we don't want them to know we like. Uh, we mention the books that we're proud of reading, and we don't mention the books that we're not proud of reading. So in a sense, Facebook is an idealised reflection of ourselves, a kind of fiction. But at a deeper level, my conscious self is like my Facebook page. The person you're looking at right now is an idealised version of who I really am. I'm not that nice a guy. I have lots of secrets. I have lots of things that make me uh, a devious type of person. But I'm not going to show you that. I'm going to show you that I'm a nice person, that I'm kind. I'm going to shake your hand, invite you down to the pub. We'll tell a few jokes. So this conscious self is kind of like my idealised self. It's not my true self. And in the West, uh, we think that the true self is the beliefs that we have, the conscious self. But no, our true self is what we do. Our true self is lived out in how we serve those around us, in how we reach out to those who have nothing, by standing up for those who are forced to live on their knees, for crying on behalf of those who have no tears left to shed, and speaking out for those who have no voice. Resurrection is insurrection. Do you believe all things are being made new? Well, that's a good question this is for this. <laughs> Do I believe all things are being made new? Um, that's a difficult one. I think for me, uh, Christianity is about trying to be the site where transformation takes place, to be the site where change takes place. And while we may believe that everything is in God's hands, we kind of have to act as if everything relies on us. So if I, if I believe all things are being made new, sometimes that means I can just sit back and you know, do nothing. Uh, but whenever I think that actually God has invested me with a mission, that God's destiny is playing out in my life, that we are the outworking of God's destiny in the world, then uh, it kind of can inspire us to act. So in a sense, yeah, you can have the belief that, that ultimately God's in control. And yet in some respects, you live as if it all depends on you. Right. That if you don't feed that person beside you, it won't get done. If you don't clothe the naked, it won't get done. And somehow we've got to keep those two in balance.